first part. So we'll go to our cPanel file manager, then we'll unzip the file that we got from Team Forest, go to Drupal, Team Forest, we already fresh install, we already rezipped it. We we'll choose that one, we're gonna upload it. We're going to go to the demo. We're going to extract it. And we're going to move all those files to our root directory. Now when we go to public HTML, we can see that everything is there. This is the end of part one. And now the second part is that we've got to go to our PHP admin. I presume you already created your database. And then what you're going to do is import the database. Choose File, Database SQL, choose Go. Okay, now that we've got all our database, we won't need this anymore. <clears throat> I'm not going to tell you how to create the database, you should know by now. Now we're going to go to our new site. And we're going to start the install. And once you enter all the information, you're going to say everything's been already installed. So log into the existing site. So the first thing we're going to do is right here. Vino Responsible Magazine. That we know is definitely not the name of our website. So we're going to go to our login page. Do the fact this is the demo. So we just admin, admin, login. No, don't get saved that one. And now we're going to go to system basic configuration. As you can see, Vino Responsible Magazine News Drupal Team is what it is there. But we're going to change this to World News Service. My email address is going to go here. And this is a choice of the template on one, two, three, or four. We save the configuration. And we're going to have, you see, we'll use on the tab. And this is the end of part one.